April 20, 2010 changed Melanie Driscoll's life. Before that day, she had been Audubon's director of bird conservation in Louisiana. After, she would be front and center in the fight to counter the damage done by the gushing, out-of-control Macondo oil well in the Gulf of Mexico. But she was not alone. Jillian Rubio moved from New York City to Man Audubon's new Volunteer Response Center in Moss Point, Mississippi, and the 35,000 people who wanted to help. 11-year-old Olivia Buhler offered up her bird drawings to help raise money to save the birds fouled by the oil. She helped raise more than $150,000 in the process. At the same time, other concerned women organized their friends to also raise funds for the recovery process. Ann Thompson came down from NBC to spend many tireless hours reporting from the front lines of the disaster, bringing clarity to chaos for millions of viewers nationwide. Volunteers from the Student Conservation Corps, employees from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and leaders from other conservation and community groups rallied for a common cause. Their valiant attempts to save birds, clean beaches, and protect people's livelihoods caught the nation's attention and admiration. And today, even after the well has been capped and the headlines have died, their work continues. This is the hard part. Everybody goes away. Everybody thinks it's over. This is when the real work really begins. These women didn't just open the world's eyes to the devastation. They opened the eyes of many to an ecosystem that continues to give despite the abuse we heap on it. From the regular cascade of oil spills to an annual dead zone that grows each year at the mouth of the Mississippi Delta caused by river pollution. It's the Mississippi River not replenishing the soil. We're losing you know, the size of Manhattan every 10 months. In the five and a half years I've been here, we've lost six times the size of Manhattan, and all the communities are involved with that. And yet, despite this, it remains one of the nation's most important fisheries. The work of these women follows in the footsteps of our awards namesake, Rachel Carson, who, despite powerful interest arrayed against her, showed the world that pesticides were poisoning vast tracts of life on Earth. From the shock of seeing this disaster unfold to the awe of seeing such passionate commitment to saving our planet, we salute these women of the Gulf.